back to the old song. Who's that? Ireland, Dad, you're home. Oh, I, I wonder if I do have some unique skill. Well, you can snore with your eyes open. I've never seen anybody do that before. <laughs> Grandpa's been in the bathroom for over half an hour, and I'm gonna be late for school. That's why he has to go home immediately. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. I just wanted to brush my teeth. Dad, are you happy you brought plaque in the house? You want some cereal? Uh, no, I don't eat cereal anymore. Oh, that's right. You're, uh, you're an egg man. Yogurt. Yogurt? You're, you're a yogurt man? Yeah, and I already ate. And, and you can't brush your teeth. This is intolerable. <laughs> What's with you? Nothing. Oh, it's just the subject of Grandpa's visa came up. I, I know how hard it's been for you having him here. I like having him here. Let me finish. <laughs> and if you feel that he's been here long enough, just, just say the word. Just one word. <laughs> and I'll, I'll let him go, hard as that may be. Well, actually, it's kind of easier with Grandpa here. Don't you think? Easier? <laughs> you try explaining to the co-op board why he dries his underwear on the terrace. <laughs> I don't know. You know, uh... Grandpa's kind of like this nice buffer between us. Buffer? We don't need buffers. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> well, you know, without Grandpa, we have all those awkward silences. <laughs> They're not awkward silences. Oh, God. And you prefer those legs to awkward silence? You're looking at the next Frank McCourt. Who's the first Frank McCourt? He wrote Angela's Ashes, you know, about his poor childhood in Ireland. Compared to my childhood, Frank McCourt was a king of Tonga. <laughs> I'm putting that in me forward. So, uh, you're really writing a book? A memoir. Oh, they come flooding back, the memories. The poverty, the incessant damp, the melancholy smell of the sea. When did you live by the sea? You never lived by the sea. <laughs> it rained a lot. The puddles were enormous. Oh, you live by the puddles. I know, but the sea sounds better. That's why Hemingway never wrote The Old Man and the Big Puddle. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, I gotta get to school, but, uh, hey, I, I wanna read your book when I get back, okay? Well, I don't know if I've completely finished it by then, but, uh, I'll be up to my puberty years. Yeah, so hurry back. Yeah. <laughs> Since when did you get interested in writing? Well, it's my unique skill to impress the immigration people. So you, uh, so you want to stay? Well, I want to keep my options open. And if I like my book, I can stay indefinitely. Oh, indefinitely. And, of course, there's the book tour. I suppose I should be here for that. Yeah, 